Hey everybody, uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today I am in Vegas. I am going to do some shopping. I have to go to Hermes to pick up a bracelet that I dropped off for repair. Unfortunately, the technician said they couldn't repair it. So um, I'm going to pick it up. Hopefully they have it there. They told me they had it. They were supposed to call me back, but they didn't. So that's a strike against them, but you know, it's what it is what it is as they say so I'm gonna go down I normally park at New York New York uh, because since I have uh, since I'm a resident of Las Vegas or resident of Nevada I have two hours free parking so I just thought, you know park at New York New York um, maybe check out the swatch store that's there see if they have that moon swatch which I doubt and then head on over to crystals and go pick up my items so if I remember I'll log it along the way. If I don't, then I'll see you maybe a bit later. Okay, so have a good day. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I have a reveal of an item that I got. Uh, you probably saw my intro where I was in the car. Well, obviously I didn't film. So now I'm home and I'll share what I got. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so uh, before I start, let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this shirt. This is, um, I got this at, I think, Saks Off, off Saks Off Fifth. It's uh, really old. It's like five, six years old, but it's super lightweight, and uh, I thought I'd wear it today, even though it's super cloudy in Vegas. On um, my head, this is a little hat. Uh, I don't know who it's by. Um... It doesn't say who it's by, but I want to show you my bandana, the little silk scarf that I tied around it. This is uh, the silk scarf that I got from Hermes a few weeks ago. So I thought it looked really cute uh, tied around like that. So that's that. Gave it a little zhuzh. Uh, so the first thing I got, this is actually, oh, also what I'm carrying around is um, this Louis Vuitton. This is a little pochette. It came with the... Um, what do you call it? The volunteer pouch thing. Uh, so this side's got a little stain, so I have to take some. It's gonna blow out because it's white. But um, it's the uh, Louis Vuitton volunteer bag. I don't keep the volunteer bag, but I have this. This is the Louis Vuitton cup, and it says, if you can see, the Louis Vuitton cup here. So it's just a little pochette that I had. Uh, inside it looks like that. And what I'm carrying inside keys. This is a Louis Vuitton four ring key holder. And I got the Chapman Brothers pocket organizer. I haven't used this in a long time, so I thought I'd break it out because it's a white, I've been into white things, uh, white bags lately. So I thought I'd carry that. Uh, the Damier Azure. There's coins and some cash in here. Uh, just cards and driver's license in that one. Then I have my usual Altoids, which is not Altoids, it's the other mints that are in here. Uh, and some tissue that I got. Uh, and then I carried this unit in here. Uh, I'm using the DJ Osmo Pocket right now. DJI Osmo Pocket camera is what I'm using. And then I put my phone in here as well. The strap is from uh, Michael Kors. Uh, it's that bag that I had. Uh, I can show it to you right now. But um, I just tied it onto like that. Just because I was wearing a crossbody. But I like it because it has that iridescent buckle there. And then has the neon orange. I thought it was really cool. But uh, obviously it goes with the Microcores bag. Which I really love. I mean, I just can't believe this is MK. Microcores. And then Coach Disney. Uh, but it's so colorful and just makes me happy. But I carry this on the plane. I, I put my Kindle in this front pocket. Uh, here's my earbuds here. And then um, here's the Kindle here. This is the Oasis. It fits perfectly right in the front like that. And then uh, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is the, um, a little magnetic thing that I hold masks or something. And I this actually goes on my uh, backpack. I think I threw it in here. And then the strap actually goes here and here. So that's where the strap goes. Uh, there's no pocket in the back. 
and you just lock it by putting it down like so and then dropping that down and it's locked and it's very structured um, there's no feet but yeah it's very solid and sturdy so I like it carrying it like this with the top handle so that's what I carried this weekend uh, yesterday I went to TJ Maxx and I actually found this a faux pearl necklace I forgot my necklace at home I was gonna wear my uh, the uh, sandalwood beaded with a uh, Tahitian pearls necklace but I forgot it so I found this at TJ Maxx obviously it's not real but uh, that's kind of what it looks like there so yeah. maybe if it starts turning yellow I can dye it a different color or something I don't know but I um, thought it was really cute and it was super cheap it was like $16.99 so I wore that um, on my hand, this is the Hermes. Uh, that's my old wedding ring. Uh, but th I have this. I can't remember what it's called. That's Hermes. This is from the, uh, these are like the beads here. And then this is, uh, I got also at TJ Maxx. It's, I got it for pride, but I thought it was really pretty on the colors. So that's my stack. And then on this arm, I have, of course, a Gucci ring and then my wedding ring there so that's what I'm wearing um, but I got this at at TJ Maxx it was $16.99 and it's by the company Icy that's the company there Icy right. uh, and then <laughs> Kind of I was looking at, sh I got some sh swim shorts as well, but they're in the wash right now. Uh, what was funny is I was by the men's shorts looking, actually I was at the men's clearance because I always look at clearance. But next to the clearance is this miscellaneous rack. They have some caps there and some miscellaneous things. And then I saw this sitting there. I'm like, well, what's that? So I took a look and look what it is. How cute is that? Is that a mosquito? Moschino? Moschino? I can never know how to pronounce that. But it's cute with the bear and it says toy on it. And uh, there's a little snag here. But overall, it's really cute. It was $24.99. That's what I paid. Um, the tag is here. It's made in Italy. Uh, dry clean only. Um, fabric in Italy. So there's the uh, tag, the flip side of the tag there. And here is the tag there. And it's like there. I can't get that straight there. Yeah. And then TJ Maxx. What's the price? So I thought this was really cute and it's so happy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe, you know, wear it as a scarf. I don't know. If I wear it as a scarf. I'm not going to tie it proper, but you know what? Like that. I got to cut the tag off. I didn't cut it off because I was going to film for you guys. So, really cute. And it's just so bright and vibrant. Uh, and it was just sitting there, so I got it. But that's what it what I got at TJ Maxx. Again, the shorts. I think one was the Zara shorts. Some shorts they were shorter, so um, and it was like a seafoam green color. And the other one was I can't remember the brand name. They were both on clearance. So one was ten dollars. The other one was twelve. And the the non Zara one was navy blue and had pink flamingos at the bottom on the leg area. So really cute. But like I said, they're in the wash. Now, today I went to uh, Crystal's shopping center to find, actually not to find, to pick, as you can see there, oh, uh, to pick up a bracelet that I sent to repair. Unfortunately, they were not able to repair it. It's the Be Happy bracelet. So it came back and they sent me an email saying it's non-repairable. They didn't charge me for it. But basically the buckle thing broke here and uh, Here's a buckle. So they were not able to repair this. Um, 
So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to take it in or figure something out to craft it or have somebody. It's reversible, so it's um, you know, this blue color on one side and then it's brown on the other side. But I really like this bracelet. Uh, I was sad when it broke. It's the double tour, so it wraps around twice. Uh, so I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. I might take it to a shoe repair place to see if they can repair it. I don't know. So I went to pick this up and while I was there I wanted to check out a couple of items. Not planning on purchase anything uh, but I kind of wanted the um, they have a fleece jacket. Uh, Fashionable Amy had it on her channel and her reveal and um, it was from the equestrian line uh, but the store at Crystal's they had one but it was the women's size they didn't have any men's uh, and I think I take them large but um, they didn't have any so uh, I was looking around and I ended up in the shoe section and I got this it's not a bag obviously and she put it in this huge ball package so uh, let me show you what I got here's the ball a little receipt here. There's the receipt. Can't remember my S, the person who helped me. She was really nice. Uh, what's her name on here? Grace. Her name is Grace. So, Grace of Crystals, thank you. Uh, there were two sandals that I wanted. The one that I really wanted, and they had it there, was the um, Izmir. Izmir's uh, sandal. It's the black with the neon green trim. And uh, they had it there and I really liked it. But then I, they also had this one here. And I can't remember the name of this. It's not on here. But let me show you what it is. So I can open it up. Here. Maybe it's on my receipt. Hang on. Ah, they did. So here's the dust bag. Here's another dust bag. Nothing else. So what I got was Ta-da! This one is called the Shipre? Shipre? C-H-Y-P-R-E So I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is the sh Chipre, Chipre Capskin Men's Sandal. This one is in a size 43. Uh, they ran a little small. I usually take a 42. So I got a 43 and these are really super comfortable. They're a little heavy, but um, that's what they look like. They're super soft here. Oh. So you have the H there and then you have this adjustable strap, this Velcro underneath. Uh, Hermes, she said, uh, Grace said these are super popular and they're actually sold out in the women's, but uh, they had it in the men's. There's Hermes on the side. And um, another reason I like these, which makes them a little heavier, but you know on the Izmir they have the leather sole and I'm just afraid that the leather will wear out and then you have to either get it resold or, or something. Whereas this is kind of a rubber textile uh, and it's more durable outdoors and it's black too so I don't have to worry about it. I mean I love white but I am so paranoid at getting it dirty and if you ever walked around with white shoes in Vegas, Vegas is a very dirty city. <laughs> I mean it is. It just I don't know the air is dirty. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's the desert or what. I always get black marks on my white items. So it's kind of funny I'm carrying white but it's not on my feet. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. It's got the palladium. I think this is palladium buckle there. And like I said, it's, it's a strap. So this is adjustable. Uh, I heard that this could be uncomfortable, this strap part and the underneath. But um, I wore it around the store and it didn't seem like it was that uncomfortable. So we'll see what it's like. Underneath is the number. So you can see there, it's underneath the strap. Uh, it's getting dark here. It's supposed to storm again here in Vegas. 
Uh, so I don't know if there's another, I don't know if there's another, another number or not on this one. But um, yeah, so I am excited to wear this around. Give it a shot. I think it, it looked really good on my feet. Um, I'm not going to show that to you. I might take a couple of photos and stick it in here, but uh, I got my camera set up, so I don't want to rearrange it. But yeah, <clears throat> so that's what I got. These. All right. Uh, like I said, these are not inexpensive. They were seven thirty here. Uh, <laughs> the Vegas sales tax is eight point three seven five. $61 in tax and 14 cents. So a total receipt is 79114. 79114. So gotta save some money, transfer it over, uh, pay for it. That's what I try to do. We'll see if I do or not. But anyway, that's what I got. That was my shopping trip. Don't have anything else to show you. Uh, shorts, I was just wearing neon yellow Zara shorts. Uh, different setup today I'm using like I said my DJI pocket this is the Las Vegas kind of upstairs TV room it's supposed to be the master bedroom kind of wanted to blur the background but I can't figure out how, figure out how to do it with this so uh, I'm using this full screen anyway if you have any questions about these sandals I'll let you know if they start rubbing on me um that's what I'm afraid of um, so I might not make it super tight uh, I did forget my Actually, I wore my Prada loafers down from Washington down here because I, I'm leaving them down here along with some other shoes that I don't wear anymore up in Mount Vernon. Uh, so I'm bringing it here because I'll probably wear them more here than I would there. Uh, so I don't have any shoes to wear back, so I'll probably wear these back uh, and see how they go. Uh, uh, also, they came in the, the dust bags. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully you're having a great day. Well, hopefully you had a great July because we're going into August, like tomorrow's August. So have a great August. I'll try to film another video or, or film more videos or whatnot. Gucci Ring still doing well. I'm not flipping you off because it's pointer finger, but Gucci Ring. They added um, some new features to the app. So like sleep oxygen and some other things, which is really cool. So they keep updating the app. So uh, still loving it. Uh, anyway, rambling on. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.